Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today, instead of an RF video, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my first death on my RF character in the beta. And it's actually a really important death. And the reason why is it completely slipped my mind at how scary poison damage is in the beta compared to the poison damage that we deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this clip and let me know if you guys fully understand exactly what happened. So first off, some basic things to state for people is I have minus 48% chaos resist, which is quite normal these days for people to have. Um, but I wanna explain exactly why I died because I know a lot of people aren't fully gonna understand this. So previously, poison on hit wasn't really too scary. So there are some, some instances where poison on hit is scary, but not really. For the most part, it was like a free map mod like Elemental Equilibrium, good to go, right? So now with the new changes to damage over time, they made it so that the hit of the, of the initial, like the skill, right, does not actually determine the poison damage. So if you were to use something like Lion's Roar, Lion's Roar won't scale it. Melee Physical will not scale it. Things like that don't actually do it, right? The big thing about it is that now with Fortify and Endurance Charges, that doesn't actually mitigate the damage over time anymore. So initially, right, if you had a harder impact hit, the poison damage would be long, well, not longer, but it would do more damage. So you could mitigate poison damage, theoretically, through endurance charges and fortify. Now things like Blight and, uh, you know, uh, Essence Drain obviously will not get factored in by this in any type of way. And yes, I'm well aware that fortify does not reduce damage over time, but because the initial hit was so much lower before, it would reduce the damage over time taken from poison. Now, endurance charges and fortify do not affect that whatsoever. So with this, with endurance charges, this is 12%, right? Fortify would be another, what is it, 20% for fortify? And then I also have soul of steel on my tree, which is another 4% mitigation, right? And armor, I didn't think they could do this, but armor, I guess, gets kind of slapped in the face again, because armor does not mitigate the damage over time in any type of way anymore. Um, so you really have to be kind of, I guess, almost run an Amethyst Flask or just pay attention to those poison map mods because they can be really dangerous now, especially with things like porcupines all consecutively exploding. So just to go over this again, uh, my character as a Berserker does take 10% increased damage and I have minus 48 Chaos Res. So this is an extreme example, but I just wanted to show you guys because Again, this guy has great physical mitigation, but none of that even matters whatsoever uh, with this new poison damage over time. One other thing to note is I probably had a positive maybe like 400 life regen that also got counteracted by the poison degen on top of the actual poison damage that it dealt. So one more time just to display it in like full mode or I guess full screen, there you go. So that's from 7,000 HP I healed up and still pretty much bursted down. So make sure you guys pay attention to that poison mechanic because that was the first death on my character. Um, which is actually cool though. I'm happy to see that because I felt like, I felt like poison damage on monsters before was pretty much irrelevant. Uh, and now I'm happy to see that it's kind of a scary mod that is totally manageable. You just kind of have to prepare for it. I still don't like things like Chayula Breaches because if you open it on a life character with shitty Chaos Res, you pretty much die instantly, but I mean, that's just life, right? And you don't always have the choice because, you know, the breaches are random when you open them. But anyway, that's beside the point. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Um, and you can also catch me streaming live at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.